This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another Power BI video in the beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one power query function that is table dot add join column. Now table dot add join column can add a column from a different table than what current table we are using. So the syntax for this function is table dot add join column. Table one is the current table or the table which you are bringing in from the last step. That's the table in which this column is going to be added. That's the table one. Then the key, the key column, which is going to be join any the type could be any table two as a function. So we have to give table two as a function. It's going to be the second table from where we are going to bring in the data key two. the, again, these are the column from the table two, which are going to act as a join columns and new column as text. So we are going to get the new column name. We have to give a new column name, which we are going, which we are going to give as a text and it is going to return as a table. Now, Let's read about this. This is really important here. So I'm going to read it out. Joins the rows of table one and table two based on the equality of the values of the key column selected by key one of table one, key two of table two. The results are entered into column named new column name. This function has similarity to table dot join with join kind of left outer except that the join results are presented in nested rather than flattened fashion so it's basically left join which is getting performed we don't have a join kind here so that's the difference with table dot join now table dot join can have two tables we can specify the type here we are going to bring in the table from the another table now we are not doing table dot join but still we are bringing in a join column that's what the syntax is Let's look at one example, which is given here. Now this, in this example here, the table has been created a record, the join column name has been given. Another table has been given as into the function again, created from record, the join column has been given and the new column has been given. So let's take up this example and check it out. And then what we are going to do is we are going to create our own example and going to do that. So let's go to power BI. So we are in power BI and we are here right now uh, in the uh, visualization studio, uh, the visualization part of the Power BI. And in the home tab, we have the transform data option under which we have transformed data that will take us to the Power Query. Now, once we are in Power Query, what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new blank query. And for that, under the home tab, new source blank query is one which we are going to use. Once we get the blank query source, we can double click on that or right click rename and we will rename. We can re okay, rename it as table join column. Now let's right click on this, open the advanced editor. And in that one, we will paste that script as the source and look what happens. So we'll see that and now let's expand these steps possible. We see this table sales ID item sh uh, shirt sales ID two and hat is that we got them in the row of the as a table, which which we supposed to get because of records and the second table uh, we are getting uh, as a expandable table here and it is coming because of the sales ID join. So let's expand that and then we see that we can get the second table also. Now let's take two tables here. Now let's create some tables here and let's try to, you know, see what happens when we do that join. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create my own tables here using the enter data and then we will try to see what happens. So let's create a table and we will have C1 and C2 here. And let's think this is a master table. So we'll give one, two, and three name as a1 a2 a3 
and let's name it as M1. Okay. So we got 1, 2 and 3, A1, A2, A3. We got this is first table. Now let's create second table. We again have, will have a column here C1. But now let's have a column C3. Now here again we will have 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 3. And C3 can have any values like let's say A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, Q, W, E, A, S, D, Z, X, C, A, S, D, like that. And let's call it as M2. Now what we am going to do here is, now instead of changing the code of M1 or M2, one, one way is that I change the code of M1 or M2, I, what I'm going to do a little bit different here, I'm going to go to the new source, again blank query, double click on that, call it as M3, right click, advanced editor, and here I'm going to write down table dot add join column and in the first table let me take table one and that's what I wanted so I came here because I wanted to do that then the key column which is c1 then the second table as a function so we are going to give that as m2 then the join column it should be again c1 if it is not then it will give an error we can correct it later and then the new column name should be let's say c3 tab so we have given a code into the source. We are bringing in table dot add join column. So typically what happens, we got a table in the last step. We do it for that. We will try out that later. But right now let's try out here as a new new source, new query. What happens there? If our code is correct, yes, it is correct. And then we got it one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's expand it because we getting data, which is little bit more. And let's get C1 and C3 and let's see what happens. Yes, it is expanding. It worked like a left join. That's what we wanted to test what happens when we don't have the similar guarantee of data. Now, what we are going to do, can we join more than one column? Right now, what we have done is both the tables, we have one one columns and we have joined them. One one common column and we joined them. But we want to do more than that. So let's create another set of uh, tables. So this time, Again, we are going to use enter data. Let's call this as key column. And let's call that as, let's call that as key one, key two, and let's have a value column. And then here I'm going to have A, and I'm going to have one. I'm going to have A, I'm going to have two here. I'm going to have B, I'm going to have one here. I'm going to have C, I'm going to have two here. So some, this kind of data is there. Let's have value like 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay. So control A, control C, we call it C1, combine one table. We got a combine one table. Again, I'm, I have copied the data by saying control A when I was doing that. And I go back here and I, click here on the corner and I pasted it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to add a1, a2, a1, a1 rows and let me give some values here like now what happened is it's, it actually created it as header. Let me cancel that. I've done one mistake there. Let me go here back, enter data, again paste it and let me do undo header. Now it is correct. We are going to call it as key one, key two, and let me call it as values two. And let me repeat only one value here. And let me give 20 here. Let's give some different numbers here. Fine. So we got this C2. Now here, this time what I'm going to do is the merge step, which is there. So now this key one and key two is my key column. Here, let's see again, key one and key two is my key column. So I'm planning to join on these two. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to create a new column. I will go to the advanced editor. I look at this tables script. I press place comma, comma after that. And I press enter. And here I say 
add underscore new underscore column they, those were automatically added and now I'm going to say add table dot add new join column and in that I need the table which is basically the last step table name hash changed so now you understand what is the difference between when we go into the new source we can take the table name here the table name is whatever is available in the last source because last source was a table okay so change type was a table so I can take it here then I need two join columns so for that I create an list and then I give key one comma key two so here I am using a list then I go here I need a function and I need a table this time again so I, I don't have a table here as a code so I'm going to take C2 that's my table again I need a list and if our column names are same then we give this list and then finally we end up giving the name where we call expand C2 and now we have to return this step because change column is not something we want to return so we would like to return this add new columns and say done and as you can see the c1 table is now not only c1 it contains additional expand c2 column and the join is on two call two columns so we expand it and then i'm going to bring in bring in all the values so i can see that a1 a a1 has been joined a a1 has been joined a2 a2 has been joined with a2 b1 has joined with b1 and c1 has joined with c2 i have a replicated three times if the join would not have been two columns we would have seen much more rows so in this manner we were able to create a join between the two tables and bring in the columns whatever we want now it gives a table which we can expand and give it now by default it is a kind of a left join so it's not always that you need a merge you can add a column from another table by using this function table dot add join column so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you